proud of him. She can walk, and she's leading the life that any five-year-old, you know, should be leading. He's not one in a million. He's one. The messenger, a doctor's dream of marrying technology to humanity. On an extraordinary man who has devoted much of his life to pediatric neurosurgery. To put it more simply, among the most difficult and dangerous operations is the removal of tumors from a child's brain stem or spinal cord. Any parent with a child suffering from that condition has a rather special perspective on what's important. So allow us to introduce you to one of the very few people in the world who can bring hope to such parents and such children. Meet Dr. Fred Epstein. I can teach almost anybody to operate. Okay. This is not a okay. mysterious specialty. This mm -hmm. is, there's no mystique. What can't be taught or bought is compassion. Fred just gives love to people who are deeply in need from an inexhaustible source inside of him. <sighs> but I went to their home, and I saw how that home had been transformed in the terminal phases of an illness. It was almost like an intensive care unit in terms of what was required. And I said, you know, I always knew this intellectually, but I never felt so much the impact that this makes on the life of a family as I did at that moment. That was something else that was important to me, that one visit in understanding maybe what some elements are in a healing environment. Epstein invited parents to help him design the new facility. I'll never forget a few of the uh, incidents, actually. Um, I would have the parents come in and look at the furniture that I picked. And I'll never have them come in and look at this furniture. I thought it was wonderful. They said, get rid of it. I said, what are you talking about? It's expensive. It's gorgeous. They said, Fred, you're missing something. The sleep sofas are not wide enough for us to hold our child on our lap and read to them. That's what we want to do. Children in particular could just go in there anytime. We'd have kids running down the hallway um, just to go in and visit. You promise when you go home you'll come back and visit? And he always was there with a, a smile on his face and an open heart to listen to them. A beloved brain surgeon treating dying children with his hands yes. and his heart. He was like the Pied Piper. The kids would just follow him around all over the place. Then one day, Fate changed everything for the doctor and his patients. He was a superhero in a white mask, determined to save children from the clutches of an insidious enemy. For 30 years, it was Dr. Fred Epstein to the rescue. And then one day, the tables turned, and it was the doctor who needed rescuing. On Sunday, September 30th, 2001, Dr. Epstein was riding his bicycle near his Connecticut home when he struck a depression in a road, tumbled over the handlebars onto his head. Even though he was wearing a helmet, the injury to his brain was critical. There is something good in the man who loves children and the man who can laugh at himself, and the man who gives his time to other men, and the man who searches everywhere for life's precious treasures, and above all, the man who can give of himself Good men are a gift of God.